Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer. Hey, wanted to make a quick video for you all. Uh, first off, happy Friday. Um, so this morning I was going through some and listening to some calls uh, that, uh, that my clients had um, with prospects. And so what I hear over and over again is people call many times and they'll say, how much is it? What do you guys charge? And so I'm listening to a lot of these calls and it's like really quick. They're like, oh, we're this much. And they're like, thanks, bye. So I guarantee you, you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you do that. So what you want to do instead is when they call and ask, how much is it going to cost? You want to go into, you know, investigation mode. You want to find out what okay uh yeah no i'd love to get your pricing and that really depends on what sort of vehicle um can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing what's the occasion you know because many times people are going out to celebrate something you know a birthday um an anniversary or you name it maybe just a night out on the town so you don't want to first just give price that's really the same thing as when someone emails you or someone requests a quote and you just email them back, this is how much we charge. Then you are just competing on price. I hear all the time um, complaints about people being cheap. Well, if the first thing out of your mouth is how much you charge and that's it, then you are just competing on price. Now look, I get it. You are going to have people that call you and they are just, no, I wanna know the price. No, I want, fine, you can give them the price. But what I want you to try instead is first say, you know, that depends on a variety of factors. Uh, what's the occasion? Oh, okay. Uh, how many people do you have? Oh, awesome. Uh, where are you guys planning to go? Because when we start to look into what they're actually doing and where they want to go and how many people they have, maybe um, the vehicle that they're looking for isn't the best vehicle for them. Maybe they're uh, inquiring about a stretch limo and you have a limo sprinter and you can explain to them, oh, hey, I know you're looking for a stretch limo. We have another option that might even fit what you guys are doing any better. Let's say it's a group of women going out for a bachelorette party. You say, hey, we've got this uh, brand new limo sprinter. Um, can I text you the pictures? Because this thing's really cool. So the great thing about these limo sprinters is you don't have to all get in one at a time, so it doesn't take five minutes to load the car. Uh, there's a lot of extra room for purses and handbags. Uh, you can stand up in the vehicle and it's luxurious just like a limo. Now you are selling, okay? And selling isn't, you know, telling isn't selling. Selling is asking questions. What are you guys doing? Uh, what's the occasion? How many people are there going to be? And then you're the expert, right? So you're the one that knows the vehicle that best fits them. They're calling, they think they know, right? And many times people will just say, no, this is what I want. And that's fine. But first, I want you to find out what they're doing, where they're going, how many people there are. And then I want you to suggest the appropriate vehicle for their budget. And so if you guys do this, I guarantee you, you will be closing more sales over the phone. And I, I just wanted to make this video again because I hear this all the time. It's, you know, someone calls and the call is a minute or less because the first thing out of um, the, the CSR's uh, mouth or the owner's mouth is the price and then the person hangs up. So if you guys really want to charge premium prices, you must offer a premium service. And if you don't want to compete on price, you need to do a better job of, of selling. So anyways, guys, this was a really quick video. I really want you to try to implement this. When someone just asks for a price, you need to go into investigative mode and try to figure out what's the occasion, how many people, uh, where are they planning to go? Because you might even have some suggestions for them. Look, you all know your cities um, very well, so you might even be able to suggest other venues. And that's when you really start to add that value 
that people will pay more for because not everyone's cheap. And that's the last thing I'm going to say. Stop calling everyone cheap. Stop calling your clients cheap. Stop calling people uh, that call you and ask for quotes cheap. Because if you do that, you will act in a way that <laughs> will cause them to be cheap. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really try to implement this when people call you. I guarantee you it will make a world of difference. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend.